about that game this year. Um, you know, obviously, we're disappointed the last two years, yeah. um, but that's in the past. Um, but you know, we've got a grooming group, we've brought new faces into our playing group, we've developed our own. Um, you know, we've developed 10 young fellas this, this year to really add to our depth. Um, so we feel like you know, we're better prepared. And uh, I suppose the hurt of last year um, still sort of sits in the guts of some of our senior boys. Your KPIs have got bigger this year, probably bigger than your last four years in some areas, the scoring, how often you score, things like that. Is, was that a deliberate um, uh, approach at the start of the year to look at that sort of stuff, or was that just a consequence of playing well? I think what's happened is, um, you know, in the past we've had Bowen, um, yeah, we've had Sheppard, we've had Liam Ryan as you know, key figures in our forward line, and sometimes you can use zero in on that, and I think that we'll be able to do it this year and spread the load. Uh, you know, it wasn't a major focus um, to score heavily. Uh, it was more about sharing the load and seeing we can get more avenues in there. And fortunately for us, it's, it's worked that way. Um, guys have had sort of real little runs at it throughout the year, and, but that comes on the back of how you play defensively as well. Is it a, have you got a better side this year than the last year? Oh, look, I don't like to compare sides. You know, when we hope to get through, if we get through the, um, our first final in a couple of weeks' time, and if we're fortunate enough to make a grand final, then. You know, I'll give you the answer there in four weeks' time for better, because if we are, well, then hopefully we'll win it. record this year, and I guess it sort of perceived uh, spot as, a dom as the dominant team. Does that sort of put any nerves into you at all? I mean, it's not unusual to see a team sort of go through a season of dominant and get to the pointy end, and all of a sudden uh, you know, come across a difficult set of hurdles, particularly maybe not even in that last year. I think, if anything, it's probably um, really sort of you know, set a foundation of resilience amongst the group. Um, having gone through last year of losing the first one, winning 19, and then losing that first final against Peel, it showed the, um, I suppose, the resilience of the playing group to respond in two weeks, and then you know, really sort of probably dominate the game in last year's grand final, but couldn't kick straight. So I think our guys are very prepared. That you know they might say that the more we win, that we're one game closer to losing. We don't believe that internally. Um, we focus on week to week, and, and I think that shows the mental strength and resilience of our playing group to keep get up every week. So. But we're under no illusions that we've set ourselves up to have a week off, and I've said it in the past. Um, the competition in the finals is going to be hot. Uh, there's some great games this weekend, and uh, we'll sit and observe, and uh, hopefully our best footy will come through in the finals. Yeah, look, we've, um, we've been fortunate enough. You know, we've been in Newton in place like last week, so we've had some guys that have, uh, you know, they're not getting any younger, and uh, it, was, it was an opportunity to rest them. You know, Adam's played eight games straight, which is good for him when he's got a knee that's about to blow out. Um, so it was good for him to rest. Um, Benny Newton had a bit of general soreness, um, but you know, the quality of play, he can step in. And yeah, like I said, Reese Waters is, is missed to, uh, probably about four or five games, but he's been training hard, and we're just making sure that we get his preparation right because he's a key figure to us. Everyone wants to win the Premiership, but how proud are you of this group of what you've actually been able to achieve over the last two years and this season? Oh, I'm super proud. I'm super proud of the whole playing group. Um, you know, for a coach, even this year, I'm super proud of the club. You know, to have uh, three teams, you know, minor premiers, um, has really set the club up for the future as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm super proud. Um, and, the, and the guys understand that they work hard and they get their rewards. And, and our reward is to hopefully walk away with the premiership this year after the you know, previous years. But we understand that the new season starts as of this uh, as of this week, and um, you know, it, it could be anyone's because if you're off your game. Um, you know, 